Good day everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. Uh, I believe by the time you're going to watch this video I'm going to be in a well-deserved vacation. Uh, <laughs> finally, uh, after four years of working constantly, uh, having no vacation at all. So it will be the first one for this year. I will take another one a little bit later. Uh, but anyway, today's video is going to be about the firmware update for the TID Radio TDH3. Uh, because there were a couple of people uh, complaining about the squelch tail issue and this update will take care of that and uh, also not just that it will also unlock receiving from 18 to 49 megahertz so anyway let's not uh, do this video too long we're going to jump really quick at the desk and uh, we'll do the firmware update and uh, see the results after that so in order to do the update we have to go to the walkie-talkie-software.com from TID Radio and uh, here on the software side I'm going to go back over here we scroll down on the page and uh, if you want you can download drivers uh, chip software Windows Macs Linux everything else you need um, and over here I have the TDH3 HAM version, you also have the uh, GMRS version or the unlocked version but um, I have the HAM version so I'm going to click in here and you have to download the folder from this button over here. Now I already downloaded so I'm going to open that folder which I have on my desktop. So I'm going to open it and there's another folder here. Um, H3 firmware upgrade we're going to open this one and then there's this little piece of software that you have to install on your computer and once you have that installed we're going to open it it has an icon like a little uh, yellow uh, handheld transceiver it's going to do a shortcut on your desktop so it's easy to find um, I'm going to set the communication port which is COM7 I'm going to click OK and then open the firmware upgrade file. Now what I have to do is to hold the PTT button, click start and then turn on the transceiver and I'm getting an error so I'm going to click end, turn it off and I'm going to repeat the process, hold on to the button, click start turn on the transceiver and I'm getting another error I'm going to click end so after a couple of hours trying to update the firmware and trying to figure out why it doesn't work and why I was keep getting those errors as you can tell I am no longer using the screen recorder it seems that the software doesn't like that so I'm going to uh, check again the uh, com settings it's okay I'm going to open the firmware upgrade file uh, again hold the PTT button on the transceiver make sure that it's turned off I'm going to hit the start button turn on the transceiver and voila now it works so there's something strange happening the software doesn't seem to like the other software is running I'm going to click end and that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to test the new firmware version and I can't remember the older version that I had but I think it was something with 229... Uh, I can't remember which menu was that. Ah, there we go. Now we have version 240427. This is the one that we just installed now. So I do have the new firmware version, um, now let's do some testing. So I put the transceiver on 27.225 MHz just because I'm trying to receive the trackers here in Romania. It's channel 22 on the CB band. Uh, so far I'm not uh, receiving anything, uh, probably there's not much traffic around me. Um, I'll be able to listen to the CB, uh, CB channels here in Romania because most of the people here use um, FM so yeah that'll be interesting but right now I have the radio connected to, the, to my um, NFED half-wave antenna um, 
it's the one that I use for HF from 80 to 10 meters and uh, I'm guessing that I might be able to receive something on the on the CB channel but uh, of course it's not uh, properly a proper antenna for for the CB band especially for FM probably a vertical whip might do a little bit better but uh, hey I tried um, yeah I, I haven't received anything but static until now uh, just now and then but uh, yeah I'll do some more testing probably in the backyard um, when I'm going to build my vertical for the 20 meters band so I can uh, do some DX when portable and um, I'll, I'll do a version for the 11 meters band just so I can play around a little bit and uh, see if we can receive something with this uh, transceiver but anyway um, I'll leave this one for now and uh, I want to show you a couple of interesting new features as well that came with this uh, new firmware update okay so uh, with the new firmware update you don't just uh, have the squelch tail fixed and also uh, just the 18 to 49 megahertz receive option uh, there are a couple of more things so let's say right now I have this repeater uh, programmed into the radio um, you can click enter and 5 hey, come on so enter and 5 and you have this R on, uh, on the display so that means that now you swapped the transmit and receive frequencies of course we're going to put it back together as it was uh, what else into I, I believe I'm not sure I've never tested that before I usually don't lock my keyboards but apparently uh, if the keyboard was locked uh, you were not able to turn on the torch so right now it does work and I'm going to unlock the radio again um, so if we go to menu 40 right now we have this uh, uh, squelch tail uh, off you have a couple of settings available here oops sorry I have to get into the menu so you have um, different settings I keep it on off anyway so I'm going to click exit um, actually let's go back into the menu you have the um, DTMF speed you can also pick the speed between 80 milliseconds up to 150 milliseconds um, right now even when the screen is off you just press the PTT button and the transceiver will start transmitting immediately uh, there was another thing apparently there was a problem with the squelch I didn't know that because I never put it on zero at least not on this transceiver so let's go up a little bit uh, I believe that if it was on zero it was not fully opened so right now if you put it on zero you can receive a signals continuously uh, yeah, I was planning to play with some satellite QSOs I mean, I believe if uh, I would do that and usually when I do that I leave the squelch at zero right now at least I know it works apparently it didn't I didn't test it that before um, and what else uh, in the menu 56 I believe yeah you can also pick um, the band scanning range so you can either scan all the bands or just a range that you, you please to scan so usually I leave it on all so I left the best uh, thing about the new update at, uh, at the end um, let's say you have two or maybe more TDH trees and uh, you program one just the way you want you set it up you have all the settings that you wish them to be all the channels programmed and everything and then you just want to copy the settings from this one to all the other tdh trees that you have it's so easy to do it without any wires so you're going to hold this ptt c button and turn on 
the transceiver and you will get this message wireless copy now you'll have to do the same thing to the other one uh, the other transceiver and after that you come back to this transceiver you're going to hit again this PTT C button and it will start to copy all the files and settings that you have in this transceiver onto the other one without any wires and that's it it's going to copy everything in no time it's just as easy as that well I don't have a second one so I'm not going to do any uh, I'm not going to copy any files I'm just going to turn it off and that's it but anyway I think this is my favorite uh, so far from this new uh, firmware update so yeah really cool update I'm really happy uh, it works fine um, <laughs> of course I'm going to play around a little bit with the AM um, aviation band and the CB band trying to receive both and um, we'll see um, I'll try to add those at the end of the video today in this video actually <laughs> If uh, I manage to receive something and I'm going to record them really quick, if not, I'm just going to put them probably uh, somewhere on Instagram and I'll come back later on with another video uh, because I want to do um, a satellite QSO with this uh, transceiver as well, trying to test it and compare it to the TDH8. So anyway, uh, I guess uh, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo.